the construction of the fortress of Brashov began in 1524 as a stone and brick watchtower in the shape of a horseshoe. It had three floors with gun embrasures on the lower floors and hot oil defense openings on the upper floor and later four wooden towers were added to the construction. Five years after the fortification was erected, the voivode of Moldavia, Petru Rarish, who was the Moldavian military leader, fought Ferdinand I, who was the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, Bohemia and Hungary. The Moldavians won the battle and Petru Rarish ordered the destruction of the tower and the bastion. After the Moldavian attack, Ferdinand regrouped. The Transylvanian Count of Arco ordered the expansion of the fortification. He was the third in line after Giovanni Battista Castaldo in a chain of command that ultimately answered to the king. The horseshoe-shaped tower with the three smaller artillery towers were built in 1552 and 1553. A moat with water and an earthen rampart were added in 1611. In 1618, there was a fire that destroyed the interior wooden structure. Repairs and additional construction were performed in 1625, including the digging of an 82-foot deep well, or 25 meters, which was later dug to 266 feet, or 81 meters. Between 1630 to 1631, the outer walls were constructed with bastions and with an access gate and drawbridge over the moat. Through the Treaty of Karlowitz in 1699, Transylvania was no longer a vassal state of the Ottoman Empire and was now controlled by the Habsburgs, which was disagreeable to the people of Brasov who revolted. The movement was crushed and the leaders were executed. The Austrian imperial troops took over the fortress who built additional fortifications. In 1773, Emperor Joseph II ordered the renovation of the fortress, and that is what remains today. Over time, the structure lost its significance as a fortress and was used as a repository and army barracks. In 1782, the fortress was offered for sale to the city. The city declined to buy it, and the fortress was used as a jail for Turkish prisoners from the war that involved Russia, Austria, and the Ottoman Empire. Shortly after, a section of the fortress was used for those affected by the plague. During the revolution of 1848, a few hundred insurgent revolutionaries, led by Captain Jan Zitlowski of Polish origin, occupied the fortress. The Austrian Emperor called the Russian army to help. The revolutionaries resisted the Russian troops two days, but ran out of ammunition and surrendered. It's funny to note that the citizens of Russia were strolling around the outside walls, enjoying the spectacle until a projectile launched from inside the fortress gave them a friendly warning that this was actually a pretty serious and bloody conflict. After the revolution, repairs were made and the water tank was added to replace the well. During the First World War, the fortress played an important strategic role again. The Austro-Hungarian army were inside the fortress shooting machine guns at the Romanian troops which were attacking from the area where now is the Brasov train station. The Romanians were forced to retreat to Pradal. After the end of the war, the fortress was used as a military prison and in 1932 it was donated to King Carol II. During the communist period in 1948, the building was expropriated and served as a prison and jamming station for the Securitate, which was the special secret police. From 1954 to 1975, the fortress was used as a warehouse for the state archives in Brasov. In 1981, the State Tourism Office established a complex of medieval-style restaurants. At that time, paved walkways were created, benches, and public lighting installations were installed around the fortress. After the fall of communism, the State Tourism Office was privatized, and in 1990, the fortress passed into the administration to a private company, which 10 years later in 2000, turned the facility into a restaurant. In 2015, 
the brush of City Hall start a legal process to recover the citadel from the private interests. As a result, the interior of the castle has not been visited since 2015. The restaurant was closed and the walls of the fortress began to deteriorate. On November 8, 2022, after seven years of trials in three courts, the fortress was returned to the property of the Romanian state. So the fortress is now being reintegrated into the tourist circuit after carrying out the appropriate repairs. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.